Ready. Blue down, and it's and it's kind of like a circle shape, so it's rolled. Hi, RC Docs, and this is RC Docs Awesome School, and we talk math and algebra all the time. I am your teacher, Miss Sunflower. Good morning, Miss Sunflower. So today we are talking about math and algebra. Blah 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 math math blah 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 math math blah. Like it. I'm never going to use algebra. Well, I'm, I'm never not. going to use algebra in my whole life. Uh, algebra is so boring. What did you say, young man? Algebra. You might want to change your opinion because math lets you into the world of wonders. Across your ocean, measure oh. how time Mount Everest is by only looking on Google Earth. That can happen if you just use math. It's, it's so boring, you teach it all wrong. Hmm. You're right, I think I do. Let's use MIC. Math Mick. in context. Can you say that? Math, math in, in context. context. For instance, look at this toy plane. You need math and you need math and context before you can find anything better than this. For instance, there's a big plane made in the utility room, and I just might go get that. Stay in your seats, class. So you need math and context to fly this big jet. Way much more math and context than it takes to fly the little one, the little Wiener Schnitzel Air Hog. Well, wow, that cool. I want to magnify that. To fly this plane, you need to know how long the battery would last. This is 70 millimeter ducted fan jet. This is an electric jet. And it flies on a 2200 mile four cell battery. And this one's getting puffy and that's not so good. If, if that battery dies and you're up in the sky like 200 meters high, you could you're in probably in big trouble because if the battery is done, you and this jet can't really glide, so we're probably being rapidly falling out of the sky. We ran the battery out of this jet once, and we almost lost the plane. This is our DXC, it can, you can set it at five minutes, and you can fly for five minutes, and then it probably will beep once, once the five minutes are done, or a little before the five minutes, you can land. After you land, you can take your LiPo battery out and put on your Thunder AC6 charger. Our charger is Thunder AC6, and this is the best charger we've had. After we flew for five minutes, we put on our charger, and the battery took 1,715 mAh. <laughs> mAh is milliamp hours, and it's how much energy the battery will take. Once we know that, we can solve for X. And the reason we solve for X is because there's no ch in Spanish. We just saw it on a TED talk. And we knew that the batteries, batteries can hold over 2200 ma. And these batteries are brand new, so we know that they can do that. Now that we know our ma, we can set up, a, up our algebra equation. Five minutes to X, 1715 to 2200 ma. So now we just solve for x down here. And x equals 5 times 2200 divided by 1715. If you solve for x, you get 6.5 minutes. 
That's how much we expect this battery or battery to last in this super cool ducted fan jet. Do you think you'll use math? Yes, I will. So if you use math in context, would you like to trade this big awesome jet for that little eeny baby air hog? Boy, I can use math. I'm going to go in and trade in my real baby jet for that big one. You wanna? You sure? Here you go. I don't think that will fit in your backpack, so better you better be careful when you carry that home in the rain. So thank you for thank you for me for teaching me math. Here you go. Thank you, teacher. School's almost over, so we're getting to your desk. What? How do you pull up?